Sorry for my toes. <laughs> Thank you to Josh, to Quaid, for having us out here on country, taking us on a mission today. Good day guys, welcome back to another episode. Very good. Well, what are we doing tonight, mate? Hopefully getting some cherubin, and the boy's gonna spear a barra. I'm gonna stay away from the barra. We're gonna watch this follow here. What do you got to say, mate? Yeah, we're just um, making our way down here to this river here. Try and wait for a bit dark. A bit of moonlight. A little bit of moon there. You can see the moon. Yeah, good man. We're here, we're on the mighty Mitchell River. See, he's wrapping samurai fishing rods. Samurai all around tonight. Oh, wild oh, reaches. Boys. If you never subscribe, can you subscribe, please? <laughs> You'll see something that you've never seen before, mate. I'll tell you what. If you missed the last episode, jump back and watch that. Because Quade's kitchen was firing. We had bloody chili, mud crab, and barramundi, and it was absolutely amazing. Possibly the best I've ever had, but don't tell him that. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to rate the cook in there, mate, this afternoon? What are you going to rate the tucker? That was good, eh? Pretty good. Yeah, you done good, bruh. Honestly, honestly wouldn't change anything, hey? I just topped the day off. So if you're wondering, Quaid's poking the ground down there just in case there's a big saltwater crocodile lying on the bottom. <laughs> Give it a poke on the tail to get it out of the way. Same. Nice shot, bud. You got one? Oh, good one. Get a boys. Look at that. That's what we're after. Freshwater crayfish with cherub and beauty, mate. Yeah, if we get a feed of them. Woo! Good shot. Hey, long way shot. Too. Yeah, you nailed it. Quade's on the other side of the river. I can't quite see what he's. You reckon he's got a crop? Yeah, <coughs> got him. You got a crop? Mm. All right. I don't have a head torch, so we'll wait for him to come back over here, and then um. Bring him. Hopefully, you get to see a crop. Bring him, eh? Oh, you can hear it squeaking. Yeah. There's one cherub one. It's a fish. Oh yeah. Little one. Little croc. Look at them teeth, mate. Yeah, we'll be sharp, eh? Mm. Let him go. You let him go, are you? Yeah. Let him go, let him go. I'm going to turn back. Yeah. Put your toes. <laughs> Stay away from my toes. <laughs> there he goes. So that's one lucky little crocodile.
<laughs> Quick, eh? Hey? Nice one, mate. Yeah. Very good. Pretty tasty. Eatable. Yeah, mate. If we, if we got a handful of them, that's all we need. Oh, there you go, mate. You go, mate. Yes, good shot. Cooked him, bro. <laughs> There's another one on the ear. Um, I hate that. It's so cool being out here at night under the stars and the moonlight hunting with the boys and just seeing it at, uh, just another style of hunting another style of catching tucker and just hearing all that all the nightlife you know the different bird song from different birds everything's out here hunting there's frogs everywhere there's insects everywhere that little crocodile the quade saw the mum crocodile a bit further down the creek so everything's out everything's out and about Good way to finish the day. Oh, that's so cool seeing him swim through there. He's out hunting as well, eh? Yeah. Everything's out hunting. Got him. Little barra. Nice, oh, barra and a chairman. Good to the head. Good shot. That was from a distance too. Yeah. And a chirpin. Just one for one in now. In there. And then we stood on a crocodile. Look at that big the bear Monday. Headshot. Headshot. <laughs> Look at that big bear Monday. <laughs> I thought it was a big chairman. That <laughs> was just sitting there. He was too. Just hiding under the rock. Good little bear Monday. Bear Monday for breakfast. Ooh, settle down, rookie, settle down. That's the bear. Yeah, bear. Yeah. Nah. That's the bony thing, eh? Yeah, that's a bear. Nah. That's not. Got him. Got him. How good was that shot? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> She's in front of him, too. So I'm going to walk back to the car, make a cup of tea. I've left the boys. It's a bit sketchy out there. I've given, I've given the boys both my head torches, so I don't have one, and, a, um, and my spear. You know, I'm trying to find the car with his light in my eyes. Here we go, nice bit of flat ground. Yeah, so I'm bugging, just following him around with the camera, kicking my toes on rocks. <laughs> Need another head torch. 
and another spear but yeah what an interesting night so cool seeing all that all the crocodiles i nearly i literally nearly stood on a on a little freshie he would have been two and a half feet long and um i like went to take a step and he didn't even move he's just he was just chilling there and i saw him last minute because i got this little torch hopefully the camera shows him up but yeah cool to see the boys how accurate they are with those spears it's amazing it's so cool to see um, the cherubim, you can almost get right on top of them, but the fish, far out, moving fish that are only like 300 mil long and they're nailing them from, you know, four meters away. It's epic to watch. But yeah, Kramer a cup of tea. It's been a big day already, huge day actually. Getting that boat off and then back on in the sun. Didn't eat until like 4.30. So yeah, big day. And I'm gonna drive the boys way back into town and then um and then i've got to come back out here and camp out here tonight out here in the bush on the fresh water get up in the morning and have a swim oh, i love this river good morning everyone i camped on the side of this amazing river last night as you saw we cooked up that crab and everything a bit further upstream than here um and oh, that, that was the last episode so jump back and watch that in this episode you saw us um, we were walking downstream here and then back upstream with the spears and that at night um chasing cherubin and little crocodiles the boys speared a couple of little barramundi amazing shots i couldn't believe they were hitting them like they were in the head too amazing but yeah i'm camped here and i love camping in spots like this because it's so hot. This is the build-up season. It's so bloody hot during the day and you can just keep jumping in and cooling off. Plus you can wash your dishes and all that kind of stuff. <clears throat> but I'm going to have a bit of a cook-up before we get cracking. I'll go find the boys later. But right now, so every Sunday at home, my wife does pancakes. Gluten-free pancakes because our family doesn't really like the gluten. Um, so gluten-free pancakes, that's what we're going to try and have a crack at today. Now my wife normally does it, like I said, but... I'm gonna give it a go. They're always amazing. So hopefully I nail it and then you guys can cook these at home. So before we get started, I don't know if I'll, I think I'll halve all the ingredients because we're not, there's normally like 30 pancakes and for one fella, it's a bit much. So I'll, I'll halve the ingredients, but I'll tell you guys what you need to put in, write it down and then don't watch what I do. Just, just do what I say. <clears throat> okay, so a cup of almond meal so that's almond meal okay a cup of almond meal i keep this stuff in the fridge three quarters of a cup of tapioca okay or i use organic tapioca you know it's tapioca because it's kind of squeaky when you squeeze on it like that four eggs four eggs one teaspoon of baking flour uh, baking powder uh, out of the fridge you want two ripe bananas then you can add like vanilla essence or something like that if you want but i don't i'm gonna throw some sultanas on top but i think that's it so let's have a crack at it. All right, now because that's so full, I'm going to blend that down and then I'm gonna add the bananas. Otherwise it's gonna go everywhere. The other thing is you, put, you really want to use fresh, ripe bananas, but I don't have that um, luxury out here on the road, so I'm, I'm using frozen bananas. So you, you want to do two. This is just for a bit of sweetness, I think, and it really does add that sweetness, which is, for me, it's all I need. Now I'll blend that up. Okay, now everything you see here today, that's why I'm wearing the shirt, Venture Concepts, amazing company. Um, and I'm a big part of it, guys. So um, I'll tell you more about that a bit later. We'll, we'll dive into it later. But everything that you see here, you know, the induction cooker, um, all the Enerdrive gear, the Bushman fridge, uh, except for the blender, but all the Dometic gear, um, the, the freezer in there, the Bushman freezer, all the electrics on top, the solar panel, the bloody rooftop tent, the big awning, all that stuff is Adventure Concepts. So the website is coming. By the time I'm filming this, it's probably out, which will just be adventureconcepts.com. So make sure you check that out because supporting them supports me and gets me out of here doing this stuff. 
and they're not just any old sponsor. These guys are um, good friends of mine and uh, they've been with me from the beginning in another form. So um, all the gear that they're, that they're selling is gear that I've chosen. I've taken away and tested it, brought it back to the store and said, yes, let's sell this to, to my viewers because I've tried and tested it, I trust it. Um, and if it is no good, I'll tell you guys it's no good and we won't sell it, we'll take it off the bloody off the market. All right, so next you want the induction cooker, which is great on days like this. These things are cheap too, they're like a hundred and something bucks. Um, but when it's really windy like this, you can you can have like a stable cooking temperature, which I absolutely love for doing popcorn barra especially, because uh, that's gonna be really hot. Whereas this one, uh, for pancakes, you want the temperature to be really low. So I'm gonna hit this at 400 to start with, and we'll put a little bit of butter on there. See how we need his is bloody blowing it away. Yeah, that's perfect. Perfect temperature, Nathan. Very good. Sprinkle some sultanas in there. I can't imagine this is going to be as good as my wife's because it, this kind of thing never is. She just seems to nail it, but they're looking they're looking pretty good. This could be the best I've done. I'll show you guys. All right, now when they start to pucker up like this and get all the little popped bubbles in there, the holes, that's when I flip them. So one of them looks good to flip, the smaller one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I nailed it. Yes. Oh no, not that one. No, that one's not ready. All righty guys, how good do they look? Now I'm going to load them up with a bit of jam, raspberry jam, and then we'll have a taste test. See if I'm as good as my wife at making pancakes. Now the beauty of doing this out here in the bush, I'm gonna start doing this a bit more, is when you get a morning like this morning where it's a bit cruisy, you can put these together, make a big pile of them, throw them in the fridge or the esky, and then, um, you can pick at them for the next couple of days. It's nice and sweet, it's nice and dry for when you're doing hikes and that kind of thing. So, look at that. Oh man. So I'm just gonna roll it up. Yeah. Oh, I've been craving something like this, something sweet. Such a treat. All right, I'm gonna make a cup of coffee. Spend the next hour cooking pancakes, have a swim in the river, and then go and find the boys. So I'll see you guys down the track. Hi guys! Whoa. Hi guys! This is so cool. Look what he shaft and he hasn't come back everyone was out last night looking for him and I didn't know because I was out of town I had a helicopter out looking for him and everything and I was just praying that this morning uh, when I heard about last night that that he'd been found and I've, I've just been told that, that he wasn't found and uh, there's a few of the boys Quade's one of them a 
I don't think he slept last night. Quaid's been out looking for him all night. So, I don't know what I can do, but I'm heading out now to where he was last seen, or to where they found his backpack. And I'm just gonna start walking the bush, take, you know, walk to a few of the sites that he showed me and just hope that we can find him. I just, bumped, I just bumped into the boys and they found Viv's body and um, they reckon he had a heart attack. Viv, oh. Viv is one of, the, one of the best men I've ever met in my life. So it's so respectful and just so full of knowledge and from when I first met him I, I remember f feeling like this, this guy just has Native treatment. so much in his mind that needs to be shared with the world before we lose him and now it's happened. There's two sticks, there's the anvil with the hole and the notch yeah. and then the other one goes into the notch. And then... And they'd always keep that dry when they'd walk, they'd use that. They had a, a cover yep. made with wax and bound with orchid bark. Giddy seeds on the top of the wax to yeah. keep the wax waterproof. And that's what kept it dry during the wet season. And they always started the wet season out with a really long set of fly sticks. Some of the fly sticks were as long as a spear. This is what this museum is about, is about the transmission of cultural knowledge and practices. Use the red part. You use that. And if you cut into it like a rubber tree, it oozes a bloody real clear sap. Yeah, I, I came to Karnyama in um, 1972, 19 year old, and I've been here most of my life. My bush, name, my bush name's Crop Turkey, but all the old fellas reckon they should have been called Bass. <laughs> red flowers and they fall on the ground. All the wallabies come and get fat on them because there used to be a lot of them. The old people used to make hides and sit there and wait. <laughs> and it wasn't just the wallabies, the bandicoots and everybody wanted to go. So they, they got a... Well, so that was a good time of year. For a month. It? For a month. Yeah. So it's called fat wallaby time. Up all the so when old Jerry has left his legacy here in, in the collection, mm -hmm. he remembers the day that he walked into the mission with his father and, and mother and the others from the bush and um, being laughed at by the, by the mission kids because wow. they had no clothes on. Wow. Yeah.